Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to unlock your Chevy 4500. Customer locked his keys in his RV up here at the Auto Zone. So, let me get it unlocked real quick and I'll show you how we do it. Okay, so when you're trying to unlock one of these RVs, right, they got this box here, right? So when you try to get your reach tool in, you're not gonna be able to get it here without bending it and you don't want to bend it and then even if you do bend it it still gives you limited you know movability you know you can't really move your tool around and and uh, navigate it like you'd like to so for that reason I don't recommend coming through the back of the door like we like we would normally do if we're doing a regular vehicle hey I'm looking for you. Yeah, that was too much for me. all right and so guys when I'm trying to unlock this vehicle. Oh, you can do that? Oh. Yeah, so what I'm gonna, I'm just filming for YouTube. Oh, I thought you was gonna unlock it with that. I thought, oh. <laughs> <No. laughs> All right guys, so when I'm trying to unlock one of these Chevys, what I'm gonna do is come over to that flipper lock right there. That you see right in front of the door handle or the unlock button. And I'm either gonna hit the unlock button where I'm going to hook that pull up lock and I'm going to pull it up. Now, of course, I'm doing it on the passenger side and you can see there's a basket in the way and then I don't know if I can show you on camera, but there's also a uh, sun shield also in my way. So it's going to be a little bit tricky for those reasons, but I'll still be able to get it unlocked. And what I'm going to do is put my airbag in through the front of the door here and then access it straight down with the with the reach tool and hook it and you, you guys will see that in just a minute all right guys so as always I use access tools super air jack uh, you can get this at JB tools uh, also if you're in a hurry and you're trying to do this yourself at home you can go to Home Depot and get a bag similar to this in the door and window aisle it won't be made out of Kevlar it'll be made out of rubber and it doesn't work as good but it will work in a hurry basically you're just going to come and uh, put this through your door here and uh, slide it through your weather stripping and get it into both sides which i'm going to need two hands for so i'm going to pause this and then come right back once i got it in basically what you're going to do is just saw this through the weather stripping you know until you can get it even on both sides like so and then because the top here you're going to want to come down almost as far as you can that way when you get your reach tool in you have some kind of angle that you can get it in on you know so close the valve on this here and just pump it up and this airbag just fills with air and uh, when it fills with air of course it pries the door away from itself or away from the frame anyway Sometimes you need two airbags, so most likely I'll have to grab another one and put that in as well. All right guys, so I got the airbag in and we got the door pried up and that's probably enough, but I'm just gonna stick one more in here and pump that up just to get a little bit more. That way I can move the rod how I'd like. Okay, so the tool I'll be using for the job is Access Tools Green Reach Tool. It's coated in plastic and has a rubber tip on it. You can get this from JB Tool online also, JB Tools or Access Tools. Um, now, if you don't have one of these, you can make something out of a couple of coat hangers or something like that, and that'd probably work as well. Uh, a lot of times for these RVs, I'll bring, an, you know, like this one's in perfect condition doesn't have any scratches or anything like that on it it's not bent out of place so a lot of times i'll bring a spare to these rvs okay and so here's my spare right and this is for rvs and things like that where i can bend it up and you see it has like the plastics worn off on it and things like that but it's good to keep one of these around because for this scenario here you can bend the tool how you'd like and not have to ruin it so take this and we're just going to feed it right through like so 
and then once I get it down in there I'll be able to figure out how I need to bend the tool and things like that to get it to where I want to reach that that lock Alright guys, so basically I just bend the tool and then what I'm trying to do, like I said, is come around to the pull-up lock and I just basically keep pulling on that and pulling on that and I think I heard the lock go so I think we got it. So what you want to do is, if you think you have it, you want to pull all your tools out here and let your airbag down so the door will be bent back. And then once the door is bent back, which it will bend back, you should be able to open it like so. And then basically, because I couldn't show you because all this stuff was blocking the view, I'll show you now that basically, grab the reach tool here. No, no, no. Show you guys real quick. So basically what I did is I just came in with this reach tool and that lock is like that, right? So I'm coming from the front of the vehicle, I'm hooking this, and then I'm, I'm pulling up. And it's as simple as that. Now you could also hit the unlock button, and that would also unlock this vehicle. Um, if you can't get these, sometimes you can hook the keys. Like here's the guy's keys. I could have hooked these keys and possibly pulled those out as well. So that's another option. So, all right. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop me a comment at the bottom. Let me know if it helped you out. That's how to unlock your RV the easy way with the right professional tools, of course. See you guys on the next one. Bye.